Hi guys, um, so this is going to be like one of the quickest videos known to man because nothing very much has happened um, this past week but obviously I want to continue to try and keep up to date with the weekly checkings just because it keeps me accountable and yeah it kind of gives you guys an insight <laughs> if you're that interested in kind of what I spend my money on. Um, but yeah, I've kind of already just filled this out because I find it weird. I, I know in my last videos, like I've been writing and my face is like right here. It's not a great angle. Um, so let's go through it. So obviously we stopped kind of on the 18th um, when I purchased some fairy lights. Um, and then from there, I had a no spend day on Saturday. Um, and then on Sunday, um, I've just popped a note there. Um, my sister transferred me... Um, the cash that my nan gave me for my birthday um obviously everyone majority of people um like family wise live in london so she wasn't gonna see me <laughs> so she passed it to my parents who got my sister to transfer it um and also made a note of my lifetime isa that's because here i transferred um half of the um total that you can i don't know i feel like if i talk about this it'll make me sound like is arrogant the right word or like cocky okay essentially with the money box I, uh, lifetime isa you can only put four grand in there a year so on the 16th um i transferred two grand into there um because i was a little bit dubious and i was like i'm gonna transfer only two grand because I'll still get my 25 cents. I'll still get like 500 pounds extra. Amazing. And then I thought, blah, <laughs> I could transfer the entire amount, which is the four grand, and then I'll get the 1,000 pounds bonus. Um, so on the 20th, um, because obviously I've accumulated um, a couple of odd bits and bobs along the way, I didn't have to transfer the full 2,000 um, pounds. I transferred something really random. Um, it was like 1,900 and something. Um, so I have transferred that. So now I'm on my maximum four grand. Um, I believe there's about five weeks left of the tax year. Um, so in my money box app at the minute, it does say bonus pending a thousand pounds. Um, and I did query with them what would happen with kind of my standing two pounds a week um, that I've got currently um, on there. And they've just said they're, they're gonna freeze it until the next tax year. Um, so it might not sound like a lot, but I mean, they take it every week, so that's at least £8 more I'll have in my account. Um, and then, so yeah, I've now completed my lifetime ISA, um, and I've worked out though that in order to save, um, is it four grand in a year? Oh, I can't even remember, but... I don't know whether I should do it that way, but it's still a large amount of money every month coming out in order to reach that four grand. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, like work it out per month and then just stick to that or not. And then I feel a bit uneasy because I'm like, oh, what do I do with, obviously because there's a four grand cap on it, what am I going to do? Because I obviously want to save more than that if I can. Um to get a house or rent or whatever maybe um so i'm not sure what i'm doing with my other account at the moment um so yeah sorry that was a lot of waffling um but my last two pounds uh came out on the 21st so no more money box money for the next five weeks <laughs> um no spend on the 22nd and then today i went to opticians <laughs> this was totally unbudgeted um so I noticed at work that I was getting um, a few migraines and I'd had uh, a day and a half off sick, um, not consistently, but um, over the past like seven months um, to then work at this funny thing where you can only really be sick three times before you have to have like a meeting to discuss um, if it, there's like a pattern, if there's anything that work can do to help you, um, kind of thing, which I kind of get, but I also am a bit like, if you give me my allocated sick days, if I use them up, that's fine, like, it's down to me to then not be paid, do you know what I mean? Um, but 
hey, I guess it's kind of cute. Um, so what I did was I decided I was going to work an optician's test um, because that way I can say, okay, it's my eyes or it's not my eyes. And to be honest, my glasses have got a bit scratched up because of my nephews. I'm totally blaming them. <laughs> um, so I went today. Um, this is actually cheap as much as you may think because I am on um, the contact lens subscription with Specsavers where you pay £30 a month and that includes all of your eye tests, both contact lens tests and uh, just eye tests in general um, and you also get 50% off um, frames. I don't think it's included in terms of like any extras you get like um, thinning of the glasses, like the lenses um, or like anti-glare or anything like that. I think they're like standalone and can't be discounted. So to be fair, the pair of glasses I picked, I think were £125. I didn't go in there thinking I'm going to spend a fortune. But I also didn't limit myself because I knew that I'd get a good discount. Um, so yeah, it came to £92. Was on budgeted. Um, technically, this would come out of health. Um, at the minute, I have £20 in health. Um, and I did budget. Well, I already... Okay, so this is... <laughs> This is how I budget um, before it looks all pretty <laughs> in my book. Um, so I did only budget £10 this month for health as well. So what I'm going to do is if we take away the, let's say the £20 that I have in my uh, folder now, uh, that leaves me with £72. I did work out that I do have hundred pounds extra this month because I was going to put um an extra hundred pounds into my money box account but obviously I don't need to do that right now so luckily <laughs> so um it'll probably work out that I have like an extra 30 pounds to play around with rather than the full hundred pounds which is a bit sad but it's health it's one of the things like I need my eyes every day do you know what I mean so as sad as it is, I am not that stressed about it. Um, and yeah, it just goes to show that I do need to kind of do more in health than I think. Um, I also, um, in my previous video, like my January stuffing, um, you may have heard me say that um, my subscription for Specsavers um, was paused. Um, and that is still the case, but I did check with them today um, when that would be coming out of my account again and they did say it'll be coming out in March so while I've budgeted for that £30 to go into my cash envelope um 50 envelope challenge sorry it's not anymore <laughs> it's got to come out of my account um so I'm so glad I went um for both reasons so now I know that money isn't spare and it needs to come out um and yeah that's pretty much it I'm obviously I get paid tomorrow but normally I find, um, if I stay up at least to 11, that money will be in my account um, tonight. Um, so, yeah, hopefully a cash stuff and video can happen. I am working Saturday, unfortunately. Um, we do like one in four weekend days. So like I'll be doing Saturday this month and then I'll do Sunday next month, um, etc. So it's fair, but I do not enjoy Saturday shifts. <laughs> Um, it's only a short one as well, it's only like 9 till 2, but it's, it's the idea of customers calling me on a Saturday, not for me, not for me. Um, but yeah, so I do have, <laughs> I did, see like this is recycling, I did reuse my aesthetic budget envelope specifically to write this down. Um, so I am going to have to re-drig a few things, um, but yeah. I wanted to see if, as well, I wanted to see if um, I had enough cash because I'm going to hopefully have enough in my emergency fund rather than going to town to deposit it and then get everything I need out. I need to figure out if I have enough money to be able to cash stuff, which looking at it, probably not. Um, but yeah, I do need to have a little look at this again before I do my video um and everything and yeah that's pretty much it guys um a lot of waffling in this video so i do apologize um
but yeah I can honestly say now um I do have I did I did complete my goal <laughs> I will have rollover um it won't be very much I haven't popped it on here yet but I did have to pay for the bus um but it hasn't come out of my account it's still pending um and it's still like something stupid like 40p which it won't be it'll be like a total of five pounds rounded up well it'll be like four pounds 80 or something random like that but it hasn't actually come out so i haven't popped it there yet but i do have i think about 50 pounds um so yeah i'm happy i did that um and 30 pounds surveys i'm gonna say yes the only thing with me i suck at sticking to them because i get annoyed when i get disqualified i'm not gonna lie um and b because i haven't linked my paypal to my bank um the money just sits there so whenever i order anything through paypal um and like remember things like ubers are connected to my paypal it comes out of that um so maybe i should link some things up even if i just link my monzo account and then create a monzo pot that's what i'm thinking of doing um but yeah that's that's literally everything i thought i'd just jump on here um because it's still sunlight and i've just finished work and i thought why not <laughs> um but as usual guys if there's any questions you have or anything like that um just let me know either just pop it down below or grab me on instagram so my instagram's leah budgets um and i am slowly getting there with instagram um when i do get 500 followers i have a really exciting giveaway that i'm like literally so excited for which reminds me it's a good job i'm rejigging my budget because i do need to pop some money aside for that as well um so yes um so yeah as soon as i get 500 followers i'm gonna do um on instagram i am gonna do a giveaway um so if you're not following on Instagram, I'll link it below for you. Um, but I really appreciate anyone that's following me on there or subscribe to me here. Honestly, like every little helps. And to be honest, for a long time, um, I did want to do YouTube videos, not specifically for budgeting. Um, and I always said, no, like I don't like my voice. I don't like the way I look. <laughs> so to be honest, budget videos are great for me because you don't have to see my face. Um, although to be fair, I'm not actually that shy on Instagram and I probably should be half the time because I work from home and I look a state. <laughs> um, but yeah, sorry guys, waffling again. Um, but as usual, any questions or anything, just let me know. Um, any suggestions or anything like that. Um, the next video we'll be doing is a cash stuffing, which I'm so excited for. Um, and yeah, until next time guys.